Good freaking morning guys. Welcome back to the channel. All I gotta say is I'm super happy and I'm excited to be back on the channel. I am going to be posting a lot more content now. Uh, so if you guys have not subscribed, subscribe because it's not only it's gonna be entertainment, a lot of cool shit, uh, but it's going to be a lot of educational uh, stuff in these video as well so i hope you guys learn something from these video maybe it's car techniques secrets how to rap maybe you know how to take cars apart i don't know it's whatever it is that you guys can benefit from from this video is going to make me happy subscribe my name is bao for those who do not know me and uh, my partner michael tran he is going to be on a video pretty soon he's not here my partner uh michael tran run a jewelry store in baytown and i have a location here on a motor shop here on the spring cypress side uh, pretty much down the street from Klein High School. But anyway, we get into those details later uh, once we get him on the vlog. But guys, it's a beautiful freaking morning. It is Wednesday morning. Like I told you guys, you guys will learn something from this video. And uh, let's just go straight to it. So we have here a Tesla Model 3. This is me and my cousin's business. We again, this car rents out this morning, first thing 7 a.m. Uh, the client's flying in and he is booking this vehicle with us for business. So the car is all cleaned up, all detail, sanitized. Uh, I'm gonna do the check-in process right now, and then uh, I'm gonna show you guys two of the cars we got on a Turo fleet. So, check it out. And just like that, the car is now leaving for its trip. Loop. All right, guys. We are currently in the Lincoln. This is my top selling, top renting vehicle out of my, uh, out of all three of uh, the cars that I have. Because it is, well one, very nice looking, very luxury interior, and two, Aka Auto, we equipped this car with Rolls Royce Starlights. That's right. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it in the sun, but I can turn it on if you guys look up that way. It, it's there. Two things, not working well in the daylight, and two, it's not working really well with the tan headliner at night. I mean, you can't even tell that this headliner is tan, so it works really well. Customers seem to really like it. Everybody's, uh, you know, usually book this car for a wedding uh, or um, prom, you know, special event or somebody fancy in town. Starlight headliner, baby. Rolls Royce style. That's how we roll here at Auto. So, bleep. Oh, let's go show you guys the third vehicle. The first vehicle is the Model 3. You guys seen that? This is the second one. We're gonna do a quick walk around and then I'm gonna show you guys the third vehicle. They didn't have a black on black option. I actually wanted white interior, but they don't have that. And uh, this car was such a good deal anyway, so I, just, I couldn't walk away from it. Of course, we did the chrome delete. It was chrome everywhere. Door handle was chrome. We blacked everything out. We uh, smoked out a tail light, of course. I still have to get some wheels for this car. But in the front, we did a two-tone, you call it Bentley or Rolls Royce style. I just follow that contoured white line all the way down to the grill, black the grill out, and pop that Lincoln badge white. Uh, I think it's a really good contrast. So yeah, look at how beautiful this car is. Holy moly, I love it. All right, we're back in the shop. This Porsche Macan Turbo S is our third vehicle and the most latest addition to the fleet. Let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on. This bad boy got a muffler delete. Woo. And of course, it is a black on black interior. Oh my God, it's so bright. It's like I'm in a dark room. I have to adjust my aperture. Once I get outside, I have to readjust my aperture. Um, it's kind of crazy. Okay, here you go. So check it out guys. The interior on this bad boy is just absolutely amazing. I mean, just look at the wheels. Looks just like a Porsche G3 RS. Uh, the interior, even the clock, even the shape around the clock. Woo, this thing is absolutely amazing. But as up to right now, it is not doing as well as the Lincoln and I'm not sure why. <clears throat> Order some stuff for this car. And uh, we're gonna also equip the headliner with the uh, Starlight. Uh, I'm just waiting for the kid to come. I think it should come in today or tomorrow. <clears throat> and then me and Mo are gonna slap the kid on. Uh, and hopefully the car can uh, do a little bit better on Turo. I feel like on Turo, people are too scared to damage nice car. And this, this one is definitely 
up in the sixty, seventy thousand dollars scale of vehicle. It is a little bit more uh, harder to book this vehicle. But that's the interior. It's black on black. I freaking love the center console. This thing is like a spaceship, and it sounds really nice. Uh, let's go take a look on the outside. We. So let's start off. Of course, I did the chrome lead again on the windows, door handles this little carbon fiber fiber carbon i threw on this stripe yesterday kind of changed up the look a little bit so we have two stripes going down and we got the cut off uh right here all done with knifeless tape if you guys don't know what knifeless tape is i will definitely try to teach you guys and show you guys on that i don't know what the heck is going on here oh just dirty um i'm gonna take this car this morning to go get a wash and uh go run some errand as well so that this is going to be a choice this morning um, but this is the uh, 2019 Porsche Macan Turbo S. Freaking love this thing, man. So yeah, you guys seen all three of my cars on the uh, rental fleet here, Couture Auto. You guys can book this vehicle at any time on the Turo app. Just uh, I'll put the link in the description box below for each vehicle. And yeah, if you guys in town or flying in or just in town and want to book a car for a special event, hit your boy up. I'll take care of you. Let's continue on through the rest of the shop. We have here uh, Mr. Asian driver, Mr. Steven. Uh, he is my nephew, my partner, and uh, we are redoing his whole car, doing a full wrap. He also bought a big ass wing, which uh, we are going to be installed on this vehicle. And just to show you guys the extensive amount of work we have to do to a vehicle before we can even wrap. The damn thing. Everything has to come off. Door handles, side molding, front back bumper, tail light, headlights. Um, we have this golf cart right here as well that we are going to be doing a full wrap. It is already stripped. Just need to be clean, prep down, and um, lay the wrap on. It's going gloss white. Uh, customer want to match this F250 in white, so uh, that's a good choice. We have over here a 350Z. By the way, if you guys uh, don't know, I, uh, I come from the uh, rap background I start in this business uh, to rap and uh, recently I haven't done much rapping because I've got a new guy that does really really good job of rapping uh, Moises yeah Moises with a, with a slow G37 uh, that guy so Moises is now my full-time rapper here at Couture Auto he does a really good job as you can see he uh, pretty much almost done with this one he only got the front back bumper left and it will be done so let's go ahead and do a quick walk around of this vehicle look at all of his corner that is uh that is definitely qualify and of course same thing we take everything apart side molding everything is tucked in correctly more carbon fiber um yeah guys hatch walk away over here <clears throat> I really like this color oh the side skirt is not wrapped um, so the side skirt two bumpers need to be wrapped but I really really like this color guys I think it's really bring out the accents of this car the body line these wheels goes really good with this color and this car in general and of course we did the roof black this is my Honda CBR5 it's not a thousand it looked like a thousand but it's not uh, it does have an awesome winglet and it looks like a little uh, mini uh, Panigale uh, Ducati so I love it and I did this, this design pretty much like a dragon because I uh, is I inspired from the movie um, How to Train Your Dragon Toothless so I really like this look remind me of that so this is the uh, the lobby we have a beautiful setup here with the two displays case uh, two TV playing what we uh, worked on. We have all the wrap colors and my helmet. Uh, we got some product display. That's actually my employee Moises. Uh, that's his NRG C. He's gonna be mounting onto his slow G37. Did I say slow? I'm sorry. It's it's extra slow. Um, so yeah. So that's that's the seat's gonna be mounting on that. Talking about business for a little bit since we're in the lobby and we have these wrap color. These beautiful wrap colors shown here on this wall. All I can say is that wrap price is about to skyrocket. Why? Because about 50, nah, I buy 60% of these wrap colors uh, on this wall is actually um, out of stock. And some of them, it's not even in production anymore. Just of the past month alone, I've lost about three clients because these company could not keep their wrap in stock. Literally last week, I had a lady came in with an FRS and she wanted to wrap her car bubblegum pink. 
I was like, that's an easy color. I know about on top of my head, five different brands with bubblegum pink. I was like, no problem, you know, took her deposit. I checked the first website uh, and they had availability. Didn't think to order the same day. So next day I came and checked and all the wrap were gone. Not 3M, not Avery, not Tech Wrap, not Cheetah Wrap, not uh, uh, Insotech, not KPMF. I mean, they don't have their freaking material. So right now, customers on standby, I'm on the brink of losing a customer because she already won her deposit back if I can't find this wrap by a certain date. So uh, that's the struggle I have now. <laughs> The LED light. Look at all them cops car. <clears throat> and I think we are here by ourselves. Mm. Let's hit the fun box. I couldn't leave if I didn't land that tray flip on a ramp. Now I can leave. You know what I'm saying? Mo, you working? It don't look like you're working over here. Just like, just like you're up in the bumper all day. Really close to my face is getting really uncomfortable. Why, you, you, you don't like camera up close to your face? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, get up. What you doing, Mo? Do my job. I'm um, just getting this pumper prepped. I mean, I could just still wrap over this, but there's a lot of imperfections and can't have that, dude. Can't That's be right, person. because we take care of our customer. As you can see here, this bumper is just completely uh, chipped up. Uh, there's paint scuff everywhere, uh, dings. It's just uh, not good. So it's no point for us to throw the wrap on if it don't look good in the end. So uh, we are going out of our way. Let the customer know we're gonna take care of this job for him. Uh, we're gonna do uh, some body work on this vehicle, make sure that once we wrap it, it's gonna look good. Yeah, the customer does know we, we're sanding it, so we always let them know before we Correct. sand. We don't just go ahead and sand. We always let them know ahead of time. If they agree, we proceed. There's that. So this is all we have left on the 350Z, the front and back bumper. Mo's gonna be prepping on this. Uh, hopefully uh, get them done by today or tomorrow and that car will be done ready for uh, the show the car show for the Saturday yeah. it's gonna be dope and then next up we have this uh, massive massive car right here that we going in for a full wrap holy cow dude uh, but yeah it has everything it has the whole top thing you know it's pretty much like a regular golf cart where we stripped all that down yesterday it's just super dirty uh, so we're gonna get it all cleaned up we still got some body work to do as well and then we're gonna wrap this thing in white gloss white the camera died earlier didn't get to capture uh, me working on this hatch but already started on the Supra the hatch is now done in black gloss black 3m 2080 Pretty much the vision for this car is, uh, we're gonna do is like the uh, Bugatti style, that's what the customer call it. Um, so we're gonna do the, from the side skirt going all the way up, 
curve around the windows all the way up to there so the roof all the way to the back down to the side, side skirt is going to be gloss black from the door forward uh door hood fenders bumper is going to be uh going in the uh gloss blue electric blue forgot forgot what exactly blue i'll show you guys real quick either electric blue or ra raspberry blue this one so this is the front half of the car it's going in gloss blue raspberry let's rock and roll prepping the rest of the vehicle uh, before we wrap of course we have to wash the car in clay bar so that is the second step we are clay bar in this vehicle right now and it is quite dirty or it just uh, got some tree sap and stuff on there so that's what we are getting it off So this is our full kitchen. It's currently kind of a mess. Uh, we are using to store some stuff for the golf cart. Uh, yeah, but over here we have this headliner. It's, why is it kind of crooked? Uh, out of a um, Infinity, I believe. The headliner was tan. We redid the whole liner in black suede along with all the interior trim pieces. But I just want to show you guys something really, really cool that we did to this headliner. I gotta turn the light off for this. Close the door. Oh, door's not closed. Close the door and kabam bam oh shoot okay now it's gotta focus Woo! the sharingan baby from naruto so starlight headliner uh, i think it's about uh, 550 stars plus i think another 400 stars just on that uh, uh sharingan right there uh, of course we can change color blue red green red is just super dope purple is really dope too I like the white though, I just like the natural white right there. How crazy is that guys? Just like that, driving at night with the beautiful headliner. Um, Mo did an awesome job creating the shine gun. Um, look at that, holy moly. Wow. Look what came in to the store. We finally have our LED uh, Starlight kits for the uh, Porsche Macan. So uh, I'm excited to install this on here. I don't know when I'll be able to install this because uh, it is going to take me some time. So, uh, but at least it's here. So now I can get the car prep, ready to slide this bad boy in. <laughs> Extra one for good measure. <laughs> so here is the stopping point for today. We have pretty much everything on the car is now done. Uh, we still have the fenders, the two bumpers, the fang piece on the door um, that needs to be wrapped. Of course, the door, well, the, the actual uh, jam itself is done, but the door jam is not done. So we still quite have quite a way to go, probably, I would say another 40% of the car. Uh, but this, uh, yeah, it's getting there. It's good process, good progress for just one day. And, uh prepping the bumpers for the 250Z so that way we can lay that first thing tomorrow morning 
Um, so yeah guys, with that being said, I am going to end this first vlog uh, here at the shop. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned something from this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.